All right, in this lesson here, what we're going to do is take a look at how we go about just creating a basic structure, if you will, that you can run into, like a small base that goes into the terrain. Really, it's just a focus on, I guess you could say, marking visibility of terrain. Right, I mean, it's the main point of it is just the fact that you can take a piece of the terrain and make it so that it's uh, invisible and you can walk through it. But uh, to point that out, we're going to actually create a very basic room that's built into the side of a hill. Okay. So to do that first, we, um, I'm going to build this. I'm going to actually create the room first and build terrain around it. So I'm going to switch back to into camera mode, bring up the cube's properties, and build a cube that's about 512 units high by 1024 in width and breadth. And you'll also notice I've loaded in a, a different texture package and grabbed a sort of gray texture. So with that, let me zoom out a little bit and locate this brush. Maybe move it a little. You can get my bearings here for where this is. I'll actually close out the browser window for just a second. Now, here's an interesting point. You, we can't see where the terrain is in any of our orthographic views. Now, what's interesting is the fact that an orthographic view has no problem displaying terrain. If we go down to View, we have Show Terrain. And it'll actually draw the terrain shaded and everything right in that orthographic view. So now I have a good idea that that line right there is probably where most of the ground lies. So if we were to raise the builder brush up, we could pretty much rest it right on the ground. Still a little bit in the wrong direction, but using this different colored area, I can go ahead and do the same thing. Hit the shortcut T, and now I have a little bit better of an idea. I just have to decide if it's this area or over here. So if I was to move the brush over... Now it's, it gets a lot easier to, to play stuff, and it's very, very handy for lining stuff up. So let me go and zoom in just a little, grab the brush again. So over here, just to roughly set this, I guess just a little bit above the ground so we have a level floor. So with that about where we want it, maybe move it to the edge just a little bit more. And go ahead and add it in. So solid cube will carve out of in just a minute. But first, I want to add a little bit of a hallway. In order to do that, I'll leave the uh, the height. I might take that down to about 480. And the width and breadth. Let's see. The width should be just kind of building this on the fly here. Maybe 512. Actually, I'll make that 256. And this one will make about 512. And line this up a little bit. Might make that a little bit longer. Zoom in just a little and snap that up. Again, not aligning anything, uh, anything perfectly yet. We'll be building terrain all of this in just a minute anyway. Might change this up a little bit. 256 and make uh, the length about 512. So just the start of a little bit of a hallway. And get that in place and center it to the floor. Move it in. And go ahead and center it up just a little bit better. Add that in as well. And then go ahead and actually start carving out of that a little bit. Maybe make the, uh, let's see, carve a little bit off the walls, about 240 maybe. And bring the height in a little bit down to 256. And with that, should be able to line this up just about with the floor. I might leave it just a little bit off to give some room for there to be a little bit of train or something so it doesn't cut right into the floor. And so you start by subtracting that out. Now you notice when I subtract it, it actually took away the train, but that's only temporary. If we were to rebuild, we'll get it right back. And of course, let me switch off lighting now that this has all been shadowed out by the geometry. So with that, we can go ahead and actually cut out the inner area of the main cube a little bit, so I'll up the height about to 480 again. And with width and breadth, this time what I'm going to do, is just for the sake of time, is cheat just a little bit and vertex edit to get this lined up. So we'll just grab the builder brush itself, move its edges out, line them up, grab the other ones. I'm sure, yeah, of course, it could have used scaling, could have just... Um, come up with values that matched our walls, and this is this is again just going to be a, an approximation of what we need to, to hollow out this area. That vertex editing allows us to very quickly block this in, just so we have a space we can walk around in. And I might have to vertex edit the, uh, the subtraction brush out to meet. But with that, let me see. And the height, we switch brush editing off, move that up. See if I can match the height so we have the same floor distance. And good enough for a temporary box. Let me subtract that out. Again, we'll rebuild to get the train back in just a second. 
And let's vertex edit just this subtraction in a little bit to match. Like such. And if we did a rebuild all, there we can see we've got a very basic room. I'm sure you could plan out for just a few seconds longer than I did and come up with something that makes a little bit more sense. But this is just to have a room that we can build terrain around now, basically. So with that in place, we can actually start grabbing the train itself and forming a, a sort of hill for this to reside in. Uh, to reside in. So I'll go back into terrain editing and make sure I'm under terrains and have terrain one selected. And let me see how I want to adjust the paint tool a little bit. Maybe just bring the strength in a little bit. All right. So now I can start. It's a bit high. That back down a little bit. Take it, and this is, and now this gets into more of just tweaking, trying to come up with something that looks good. And I wonder if wireframe would help just a little, just so I can get the inner parts done. Maybe a bit wider of a brush radius. And zoom in. Maybe switch back to a shaded type view, just to quickly grab some of the terrain and get it lined up. and start to build the basic shape then take the strength and the radius down a little bit just so we can kind of bury this area a little bit with with the terrain and bring that in bring that in just a little bit just so we hide the actual geometry itself so it looks like this room is cut into and residing within the hillside a little bit and I could spend a little bit more time to smooth some of the jagginess up at the top uh, but again, this is just a real quick example of how you would make a, uh, a cut-in to a hill-type structure. Paint the corners away. And grab this corner and pull it out just a little bit more. And maybe even apply just some faint smoothing to take away some of those sharp ridges. Bring that back down. I'll have to pull it back up with a wider brush radius just to avoid that much of a point. Maybe not that big. And a bit more strength for painting. And real quick, run past that one. That should do for the time being. Now, 